you really liked the last bootleg Dragon Ball video we did. So you know we did? We went to AliExpress and started spam clicking everything we saw Dragon Ball. And we got a bunch of very suspicious looking packages here. I really hope we didn't get mixed up with the cartel. I really, yeah. really do. I have no idea if this is all of them or anything. They didn't update tracking. They did nothing. We just started having stuff show up at the house. So I hope these aren't cartel packages. We're guessing at this point. <laughs> yeah. If we have all the packages, we're guessing. Let's see who we got. All I right. say we take out all these bootleg figures and we're going to rate them 1 through 10. And we want everyone to watch it and then watches this to put in the comments which one's number one. Or let her put your order if you really want to do some homework. But really, we just want to see what you think is number one. I feel like if I'm looking at this right, you want to open this one. This so is the one I've been waiting for, I think. All I yeah. see is pink, so I'm yeah. assuming it's the one. I think this is Super Boo Gohan Absorb. You know what's messed up about this one is I've gotten scammed and had to get a refund on eBay twice trying to order this figure. And man, he's huge. Whoa. This dude's huge. I gotta get him out of his plastic. I'm getting to the point now where like bootlegs are freaking just as good as the real ones. Man, that is sick. He's like what, a foot tall? I mean, he's a solid foot tall. Buhan as some people call him. I don't know why I always hated the name Buhan. It's just <laughs> super boo with Gohan Absorb. Well, because just make it easier. Like yeah, it just <laughs> sounds stupid. Oh my gosh, I'm so impressed with that. Okay. Hey. He comes with an extra set of arms too if you want to change the way he's standing or holding his arm. Okay. But like the quality of his face, he looks sick. Yeah, he does look really good actually. The only thing I would say looks kind of stupid is the his antenna. You can see right there is not like, you can see a oh, cut, a you know cut what I mean? Right yeah. yeah, but other than that, like if you're looking at him straight on, like which, how he's going to be displayed, he looks solid. I guess give him a solid nine out of 10, I'd say. Nice. What do you think? Yeah. Um, I mean, maybe even 10, I don't know. I mean, I say, well, I say like eight or nine out of 10 just because of this yeah. part. If you look at him from the sides, maybe a nine or maybe like a seven or an eight, but head on, that dude's a ten, like a, a solid nine or 10. Head on. <laughs> Fly directly, directly to the, the forehead. forehead. <laughs> Do you remember that commercial? You're too old with me. Uh, okay. You can open that one and then I'll open this one. All right. So we have Tommy in my oh, hand. Hopefully that's, good. that's not his stick that's broken. Hopefully it's just not in his hand. Hopefully. But the way they package these, oh. Oh, what'd you drop? His leg. Call me! <laughs> no, his leg! But while you're doing that, check out Baby Vegeta from Dragon Ball GT. Again, pretty solid. He's not quite as big as Super Boo. As you can see, Super Boo is like way bigger. I think Super Boo was the most expensive one we ordered. But as far as looks go, Baby solid. Again, if you look on the side, you can see like the lines going down. So it's not like the best quality, but straight on, that dude's just solid. I say, I give him a seven or eight out of 10 for sure. He looks cool. I don't know how his foot stand goes on, but that's whatever. One of his legs keeps falling out. Well, that's minus one but, point, Tommy. Yeah, but if he, you know, if he stands, his leg's not gonna come out. But I gotta yeah. figure out this because he doesn't really stand straight. But here is Kami, probably a good 10 inches tall. Yeah. And like his staff and like the, I mean, the paint job, not too bad. It's a little, little off centered. You can see right here on his chest is a little off centered. Yeah. But I mean, overall, like no Kami figure yet. This is the best we're gonna get right here. I Kami's I, out of the three. He's I worse than Boo. Yeah, I'd give Kami a sol a six and a half. Six and a half out of ten. What do you think? That's fair. In Boo a nine. I feel like I'm just gonna agree with all your numbers. Well, Cause like they're like, fair numbers. The same figures. Yeah. <laughs> what what what's in this guy right here? Slice it open. Let's see. Oh lord. Oh, it's what does that say? Straight from Colombia. Oh, no, I'm God. just. <laughs> It's straight Colombian. It's not Pepsi, my friend. No, I'm joking. <laughs> Let's see what's in there. All right. A base. Here's a base. A base that says something on it. I don't know what. Oh, it's the tournament announcer. Here's another base. All right. Who so else? there's a few bases in here, and I'll pull out the figures too. Let's take them out one by one. So All this right. first figure I have is Tian Shin Han. <laughs> I hate that. I don't know why it bothered me so bad when I used to say Shin Han. Like, just call him Tian. There's not, they don't call anyone else by their last oh, name. Oh, by the way, if you yeah. look at, oh, that base doesn't have it, but this base has an LED bottom. Okay, and I don't know if this is really his base because both of his feet don't fit. But it might be, maybe it's just you can pick where you want him to stand, but hey, that's the tournament announcer. There's nothing of him either. That's the reason we ordered most of these bootlegs we have here is because the official guys just aren't making the figures we want. Like we get it, we don't need 400,000 Gokus with his hands like slightly altered in every single form. Like, right. I want new people. So honest reviews, right? Yeah, okay, I forgot. So, tournament guy, what do you say about him first? I forgot to say. Uh, he, I say look-wise, he's pretty good. 
He just doesn't really fit his base. Uh, well, in that case, I say like nine and a half. I think his looks are pretty good. I think the overall just like quality of like his suit and his face and stuff are pretty good. Tien, on the other hand, he's pretty good size. Um, however, I think that his face doesn't look like Tien to me. And then there's like some cosmetic defects, like there's a spot on his shoe. Overall, for not having a Tien figure, I think he's good. Not a Dragon Ball Tien. Right, yeah. so I mean, my rating for Tien would probably be like four. Oh, you would go that low? Yeah. <laughs> no, oh no, I would give him at, at least a six. I'd give him a six. I don't think he's that bad. But you also gotta remember the Dragon Ball animation compared to Dragon Ball Z was like so much worse. So it's like right. But, but I mean, it still doesn't look like Tien. Oh to me. my gosh! Look at that. Oh, you for hold on. There's his he's base got right a base. here, and yeah. he has his drink. Oh my gosh! This is another one. Twice? No, I think maybe even three times. I've ordered this guy off from somebody on eBay and every single time they end up deleting the account and I have to go through the process of getting a refund and blah, 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 blah. It never comes through. And I finally got this dude. He's dream. Yes. This is like one of the best villain moments in Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> when he just, in the hyperbolic time chamber, Super Bruce just says, forget it, I'm laying down drinking and watching a magazine. Man, that looks really good too. Like I just think I've, I'd give him a nine out of 10 with the other Super Bruce. Let me see this face. I mean, his face looks really good, I think. The only thing is like, if you look, same yeah. with some of the other ones, if you look from the sides, you can see like a little creases and stuff like that. But overall, I think he's a solid nine. I say I nine. Looks good. Definitely a nine. Now, in my opinion, this is Grandpa Gohan. There's really nothing of Grandpa Gohan, right? No. So this is literally probably the only thing we have other than maybe like an acrylic stand that came with a resin. Yeah, I that, think like, they are releasing Fuji's this year, right? Of like the original Dragon Balls, I'm yeah. pretty sure. But, but this now, one, like this one, the coloring in his face is good. The wrinkle, he has wrinkles on his face. Like there's fabric marks that make it look like an actual shirt and pants. Yeah, he like, looks good. I would say nine out of 10. Yeah, I'd give Grandpa Go on a nine out of 10 as well. And the fact that like he, usually it comes with the mask on, the fact that you can see his face and he's still holding the mask, it's probably, it's a cool idea, I think. All right, that's a cool. Let's go to that was a cool some one. more one. Which one? Rip uh, open some more. Well, let's get this one because this one's already like partially open. All right. I remember I opened one of them one day because I was like, uh, I don't know what this is. <laughs> like it's a very so questionable package that came to our house. <laughs> and a lot of those things, like they would charge you like six and seven dollars more to get the box. And like those bootleg boxes are just like so flimsy, they're basically paper. <laughs> and yeah, I think by the way, pricing wise, actually, you know what? We'll, pro we'll pop it up as we're editing so you can see how much we pay for each of these guys. I think Super Blue is the most expensive, if I remember correctly. Super Blue? Yeah, big, Super Blue Gohan Absorb is the most expensive. Okay. Oh, uh, this is, the, I know what this so is. So yeah. this one right here, we'll put together. I'll, I can put it together while you go through the, okay. maybe the other ones. But it's yeah. one of the tower with Upa and Kid Gohan. We have another base here. There's... Uh, boo! Boo. Here's Baba. Here's a lot of people. Look at little fat Boo. Vegeta, yeah, there's, L2. Oh, there, there's some LED stuff in here. We really? Yeah, we got to put some of this together. Oh, Vegeta's like a whole thing. He's got his own base and everything. I think that Vegeta was like 19 bucks. Like that's insane. <laughs> and then Goten just randomly at the bottom, like right there. You see him under Vegeta? I just noticed it. Oh, right here. Yeah, I didn't even notice Goten just stuck at the bottom underneath the Vegeta. So this this package right here has a lot of like. Uh, putting together. Pieces. Yeah. Yeah, this Vegeta, like, I'm impressed with right now. Like I said, I'm pretty sure he looks really good in the face. And oh my gosh, and with the base and everything, dude, Vegeta was a steal. And he even has LEDs on his base, like you said. His feet ain't even gonna come close to fitting, but you know, he doesn't stand either. <laughs> uh, Goten stands better without his stand. <laughs> you know what? Let me say two things about Vegeta. The figure itself, Looks insane. Look at that though, for real. Like that looks like a solid resin right there. I mean, that looks good. Get on there, Vegeta. There he is. Look at that. That was under $30. That is so sick. Vegeta's 10 out of 10 for me. I think that's 10 out of 10. Like he looks legit. I'm not even like one of those crazy Vegeta fanboys either. Like, I say nine. Definitely not one of my favorite characters, but <laughs> he looks sick. I'm saying Vegeta's 10 out of 10 right now. He's my favorite so far. I, I didn't even get to see Goten. Definitely for the price and like what you're getting out of it as yeah. the figure itself, I, I understand why you're doing 10 out of 10. I'd say Goten's a solid eight. Or n yeah. I'd say eight I out of 10. I think the quality of him is pretty good. He I'm, looks like Goten. Yeah. I'm pretty sure this is a direct bootleg of the ones that came off the resin that we have over there. 
like the Go Tanks resin with Go Ten and Trunks on it. I'm pretty sure this dude's an ex uh, bootleg of that. Yeah. But he looks pretty solid. What'd you drop? I'm dropping the pole. Don't don't be dropping the pole. <laughs> and we got little fat boo here. I want to get him out of here. All right, so Majin Boo here comes with a base with B, and he sits on his base. Oh, he doesn't like actually go in. He just sits on it like this. And then B goes right here. I guess or does B go in his hands? Maybe in his hands. Uh, I don't think he's gonna fit. But you got. That's pretty solid. That's pretty solid little Majin Buu right there. I can't complain. I think he looks pretty freaking good, actually. Still working uh, on that tower? Yeah, because I don't know if I'm putting it. There's no instructions. Of course so not. So I don't know <laughs> if I'm putting the pieces in the right spot or not. It looks I, right. I mean, I guess I did it, but there that we go. There's solid. Kid Goku here and then little Oopa here on the base. That's I mean, cool. Yeah, again, for not having yeah, something like this. That's what I'm like about this. to say. Like that one, that the the way it looks is not exactly top quality, but the fact that it's just like you said, nothing of that out there oh. really. Besides, so really, oh, there's another piece to it. <laughs> another piece, and I just put it together. Check this out. This is another lady who's been in there since the original Dragon Ball, and they have like no, very few like official figures of Baba on her little crystal ball here. You know what? This thing feels mighty round. I feel like it's gonna be kind of a problem trying to. Let's get her to stand. Yeah, like how in the heck are you supposed to stand her up? <laughs> what the heck? Like it just rolls right over. Okay. What, you got Th it? That went together a lot easier once I found the- Look at that. Like she came with nothing in her bag. <laughs> <laughs> She's just solid, it's just solid around. Like the figure itself looks good, but- Yes. You know what'll be perfect for that actually? So easy, a bottle cap. Like a water bottle right. top, water bottle top. Stick her right in there and she'll sit right up. Yep. I think Baba's like, a, if it weren't for the base, 10 out of 10, but I would say nine. I would go like base. eight. And then we got little tiny Chaozu right here, which looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. He's fairly simple character design, so it's hard to mess Chaozu up. I say Chaozu's an eight out of 10. What do you think? Nine. No, yeah, I mean, he's, I think he's pretty good. I think he's pretty good. I agree with what you said. It's hard to mess up Chaozu. Yeah, we got two more packages. Which one do you want to open? I was trying to get Oop on the stand. Um, let's do this one. All right, you got it. Oh wait, wait, who did this go to? I have no clue. We Please. have another stand here, but uh, the stand doesn't even have no holes in it. It's just a stand. <laughs> Some of the stuff you get from these bootlegs. But they're so good. They you know? are. And they make characters that the real characters or the real companies won't make. Which is like for me, I don't care. I'm not a Bandai collector or a Kuji collector. I'm a freaking Dragon Ball collector. I don't care where it comes from. I just love Dragon Ball. Okay. Dang it. So this one has a Red Ribbon, Ribbon Army. That's a stand for the Red Ribbon Army. Okay. Here is, it might be General for this Blue. guy, General Blue. He goes Ooh. Blue. All right, General Blue. Remember he has like that voice. He's always like, Ooh. Mm -hmm. It's such a funny villain to be like Red Ribbon Army. Man, he's like, I hate to say this, but this dude is like straight structured after a Nazi. Like he looks exactly <laughs> like that. Like I know I don't know if that was the joke they were going for. To like the Red Ribbon Army was like that, but his uniform and everything. Look at that dude right there. That's we got a good. solid General Blue. Yeah, I think he's good. And again, for like they have nothing for him besides those old school action figures, the ones we got on the wall over there. I say it's pretty good. And then we got. They smell weird. <laughs> they, they smell like who knows what. <laughs> Look at this dude, Tien Trainer. Why am I forgetting his name? I'm blanking. I know. Um, oh I was my literally gosh. taking him out and I was like, Master. Shin? No. Ah! He's the crane. Cr the, I mean, he's the crane. Well, yeah, yeah, it's not but his name. It, I, I don't know. Yeah, it's been a long time since I watched the original Dragon Ball, but there he is. He looks pretty solid. Oh my gosh, look at Nom. I only remember his name because he was a fun character to be on um, Tenkaichi 3, the old PlayStation 2 game. Like literally, that's how I remember a lot of characters of the game. And I know um, Tien's trainer here was never in Tenkaichi 3, so I didn't get to, you know, play him four million times because I have about eight billion hours put in that game. But he looks good. Look at that big Tien. Oh man, he's a big boy. I think he looks pretty solid. What do you think? Yeah. He looks pretty good. I mean, I think his skin coloring is a little weird, but like, I get where the, they did really good on the shading overall. Yeah, especially for a bootleg like that. And that's when the tournament, I think, is when he did the forearm thing back in the day. That's pretty cool. Let's see what's in our final package. You know what the messed up thing is? Like, I have no idea how many I ordered. Like, I have to go back and check and see if this is all of them or we're still expecting more. And if you guys are enjoying it, you should leave it a thumbs up. And if we should do more bootleg Dragon Ball figures, 
Let us know in the comments. I feel like these these videos right here are the more awkward ones. Like I'd rather go in and out of a store because it's like, you know, more interactive. There's stuff, something going on the whole time. These videos, I feel like this part right here is just like we have to come up with something to talk about. Yeah. Oh, what is that? I don't know. I don't even recognize that. Oh, Deborah? it's Deborah. Yeah, Deborah. He's he was also about the same price as Super Bowl. I'm pretty sure he was one of the other really expensive this, ones. This is like really big. It might be just Deborah. I think it is. Funny thing is, they just announced like that new Ichiban Kuji set that has Deborah in it. I think they were getting sick of everybody ordering this one off of the websites like AliExpress. Oh, oh you got two in there. Uh, two in there. There was a Yajirobi. Oh. He's a 10. Oh my gosh. Yeah, okay, you know what? I think he's the best one. I think he's a 10 out of 10. What do you think? Yeah, Debo definitely. Deborah's solid. He yeah. looks cool. What is that one? It's like oh. his whole outfit is like that fabric. Yeah, it looks like it's actually fabric. And then we have Yajirobe with like a piece of grass <laughs> sticking out of his mouth. And overall, I mean, he looks, he looks good pretty too. good too. You and can see his underwear. Good. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I'd give him like an, an eight out of 10. What do you think, eight out of 10? Yeah. I think he's pretty solid. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Man, that's a lot of fun bootlegs. AliExpress is a good website. It's always yeah. like one of those, eh, cause you don't know if it's gonna come in, but hey, I think they're cool. My number one pick is Deborah, followed by Superboo, Boo, um, Gohan Absorbed. I think those are the top two for me. Ooh. Who do you think? And Vegeta uh, too, man, those three. Majin, no, I'm gonna say Deborah, Super Boo, Majin, Vegeta. Those three are probably my top three, like top design wise. Three for me, I'd probably say Deborah, uh, Grandpa Gohan. Yeah, Grandpa Gohan's a good one too. And Super Boo. I'd probably say the worst is this Tien right here. I don't think he's as bad as you're saying. <laughs> he doesn't even look like Tien. I think he looks all right. No, I mean, compare that face to this face, come on. But I feel like we're also comparing Dragon Ball Z Tien to Dragon Ball Tien. Like he was I a still, lot younger back then. I, nope. Uh, nope. Fine, <laughs> let us know what you think in the comments, guys. And remember, growing up is giving up. Peace out.